Welcome to Silver Bullet Mines. My name is John Carter. I'm the CEO of the company, and we are here today to provide you with an update on our exciting new 125 metric ton per day processing facility located just outside of Globe, Arizona. The processing facility is designed to produce 125 tons per day of ore. The ore that you're looking at in the pile is representative of the vein material coming from the Buckeye mine. In this case, it's a lower grade material which we will use to fine tune the mill, maximize the recovery, maximize the liberation rate, and make sure that, we're, that the plant is running to optimal efficiency. The material is then loaded in our front end loader and taken up and dumped into a coarse ore bin. The coarse ore bin is designed to meter the feed to the jaw crusher and uh, remove any of the oversized material. The material is then fed by a belt up to the jaw crusher where it is crushed down to minus three inch. In other words, everything less than three inch. That material is then fed again by a conveyor up to a vibrating screen. The vibrating screen removes all the fine material, minus half inch, and sends the minus three inch plus a half inch into a cone crusher. The cone crusher is a secondary crushing tool. And what it does is it crushes the balance of the material down to half inch. That material, when crushed and screened, is then sent by conveyor to a fine ore bin, which where the fine ore, where the ore is kept in order to be able to be fed to the ball mill. That feed is done by a vibrating feeder. The vibrating feeder meters the feed onto the ball mill feed belt. It's also controlled by a weightometer. A weightometer provides consistent feed to the mill. The ball mill is designed to reduce the material, half inch material, down to a powder. That powder is then discharged through a screen at the end of the mill and then pumped directly from the screen into the Vulcan concentrators. These concentrators are state-of-the-art designed for maximum recovery of gold, silver, and copper from the gravity feed. Uh, these units are designed to be able to be computerized and you will see that they provide a product to concentrate from those falcons go directly to the concentrating table. The tailings from the table and the falcon concentrators go back to the cyclones where their oversize goes back into the mill for reprocessing and the other size goes to the screw conveyors, which then of course act as dewatering. You'll see in the background, the two green tanks that are there. Those green tanks are for makeup water and fresh water. Also, you'll see that we have the container with the air conditioning unit in it. That's for our motor control center. That's the, basically the heart of the system. And the green uh, unit there is our generator. In the background, you'll see the two evaporation ponds. Those are designed to dewater. And to the right, you'll see we have our own operating well. The system will be up and running within the next few weeks. And we will be processing, as I said earlier, at 125 metric tons per day. You'll also note that we do have in the background a facility for full assaying. We do all our own assaying, which enables us to be have access to assay results instantaneously. In other words, we can have an assay in in the morning, we'll have an answer in the afternoon. I'd like to thank you for your patience on this and have a great day.